Good morning and welcome back to another day in my life. It is, what day is it? Friday? Saturday? It's Friday and it is currently 9.30 which is early for me. Very, very early for me. So it's 9.30. I have to be at work at 11 so I need to get on the bus in like 30 minutes. Um, so I figured you guys could just get ready with me. So that's what we're going to do. I um, put in a medical accommodation, I filled that out, I sent it to my doctor to send in and I'm just waiting on my doctor to get it sent to Disney and for them to reach out to me because I've been having a hard time at work with the role that I have. Um, my body just does not like it very much with my heart and my stomach. so. Um, trying to get my role changed. The only way you can do that in Disney is through a medical accommodation if you're a CP. And I am a CP, so that is my only option. So I'm just waiting on my doctor to send that in. Hopefully it will be soon because I keep passing out at work, which isn't very good. Um, other than that, my job's pretty nice. Um, I basically how it works, I work at the carousel, Phil Her Magic, and the Princess Fairy Tale Hall. I'm um, working in the Fairy Tale and the Princess Hall is my favorite, but I do like working in Phil Har. Operating the carousel. Definitely my least favorite, but it's fun. It's fun at night whenever there's not many people riding the carousel and you can have more like interaction with guests. Um, then during the day when you're just yelling at people to sit down on the horse. But anyways, um, most of my shifts are like, they used to be all six hours, um, and then now they are like, they're most, they're getting longer and I'm getting more days. So before they were all six hours, now they are mostly like getting to like seven and eight hours, which is good. I was tired of the six hour shifts because I would get there and then I would leave at like 10, 15. And it's already, by the time I get home from work, it's too late to do anything anyways, like at Disney, because I, I would get home like 11 something. So I wanted to just work later. Might as well work till the park closes and get more hours. So I'm happy that most of my shifts are like closing shifts now more hours, but it's also more stressful on my body, so I'm just kind of, kind of stuck, um, yeah, but it'll be fine, hopefully the medical accommodation will get pushed through soon, and I get to switch roles, I love, it's so sad because I like a lot of the people that I work with, like, I've actually made friends now, so that's gonna suck, not having, not getting to see them all the time. Because honestly, your friends are mostly the people that you work with, for the most part. That's what I found at least, because those are the people that you see every day. Because everybody's schedules are so different, it's crazy. Like, there'll be like weeks where I don't see my roommate at all. Um, other than like, for a few minutes, because she goes to bed earlier than I do. Because um, most of her shifts, when she was quick service, she would get home way before I did, and she got up way before I did. Um, she ended up switching because of medical accommodation too. Um, so now we have more similar schedules, but it's just crazy. So your days off aren't the same, but it's okay. It's all good. We make it work. So, but yeah, I'm sad. I'm not going to be able to see my friends from work all the time like I do now. Um, but at the same time, I can't just keep passing out of work. So. No. All right, we have 10 minutes till I have to go put some deodorant on. I bring my Layla perfume. I always get so many compliments that I smell good. And <coughs> it's definitely the perfume. God, I can't speak. Okay. Chapstick is in my bag. Now I need to. So, yeah, this is the fit. I need to get my socks and shoes on and make some food in 10 minutes. So I will probably record right before I leave. All right, um, I need 
need to be at the bus in about six minutes, which is fine. I um, always give myself more time than I need. Like, tell myself to leave because I know I'm going to be a few minutes late every time. But I always make it to the bus for the most part. <laughs> so, um, now I'm just walking to the bus. So, um, and then, once I get like on the bus, there's not much I can really record because I'll be backstage, technically. And that will get me fired, so we don't want to do that. But, um, once I get on the bus, I'll get to work. Um, then I'll see you guys when I get off. So I just got back home from work. It is 3.55. I got off at 3. Um, Disney, at least in Magic Kingdom, you get 12 minutes of walk time. So you clock out 12 minutes before your shift is over and you get paid because it's a far walk from where you work at. So I just got back. The buses take a while. <laughs> so I, it took me an hour to get home. I put in an order for Chick-fil-A whenever I was on the bus. And then by the time I got here, it was here. So I have my gluten-free Chick-fil-A. Um, I'm going to eat that, and then I'm exhausted, so I'm going to take a nap. Not even going to lie. Definitely going to take a nap. My head's hurting um, after I eat. And then I really, I've been saying I want the gluten-free Cuban sandwich from Korean Beach for so long, so I'm thinking I'm going to actually go get it tonight um, instead of putting it off more. So that's my plan. We'll see what else happens. Five hours later. Okay, it is now many hours later after my nap, and Kate got home, there's Kate, and so we decided we wanted to do something, and there was a reservation available for Trails End, and I don't think either of us have been. Nope. I think I may have been with my family at some point, but I really don't remember it. So we're going to go to Trails End, and I will show the food there. I'm really excited. Um, it's like, it really, it sounds like Whispering Canyon, but cheaper. So... Hopefully it's going to be really good. Um, that's all the updates I have right now. Okay, hopefully you can hear me, but um, we did not make it to our reservation. We went to the wrong place and then we came to the right place but missed the bus and then took the bus and we got we got there at like three, four, five minutes after it closed. So she said we wouldn't be charged, but we just made a reservation for somewhere in Disney Springs that we've never had. So we have an hour to get there. We're gonna try and make it. We got there. It. We got it. Take two. Okay, we just got our food. This is Kate's burger and fries, and then I got a quesadilla. And so a side of cilantro rice. So, rice. so very excited. The sweet tea is not very good, but the lemonade is great. So, we just got magic made for us because we got done eating. We wanted to get dessert at um, wh wherever we ate. I don't know. Paradiso 37. Paradiso 37. And the des they had already shut down the kitchen, so they couldn't make us dessert. Even so, though the pineapple upside down <laughs> cake looked really good. We were really <laughs> wanting the pineapple upside down cake. But then we had our heart set on dessert already, and the only place left was, I think it's called Aaron's Bakery or something. So we walk in, everything's gluten free, and really cool, and was it full vegan? No. I think it was vegan. Vegan? Too. Gluten free and vegan. Super cool. So we start ordering our stuff. We were getting a lot of stuff, and everything's expensive. I was going to pay for it because she tries to pay, and gas is expensive. And they just hand us the bag, and they were like, have a good night. And I was just holding my card. I was confused. They were like, you're fine. Just You can just leave. Have a good night. So we didn't pay for any of our stuff. We got pixie dusted. We got pixie dusted. So anyways, now we're going back and we're going to eat our food. So...